Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm here. How are you doing, everybody? Great to see you this morning. Um, it is Monday, November the 6th, uh, 2023. Uh, we are on a five day win streak for the big markets. The question is will today be day number six of upward prices? Uh, so far in the pre market, we're leaning positive. But not by much. We're up 10 on the Dow, 4 on S&P, 15 on NASDAQ. These are nothing burgers. Uh, oil up 96 cents a barrel. It was up a buck and a half earlier. Now it's only up 96. 81.47 on oil in Texas. Okay. Um, the big question, many, many big questions. Uh, one of which is this week is a huge refinancing by the Treasury Department. Um about $100 billion in uh, U.S. bonds are going to be offered to investors. Um, I'm going to imagine that about $60 billion is just rollover. Uh, old debt that has to be rolled into new debt and then $40 billion more, I guess. I, I don't know the actual number. I, I don't know. Uh, but I don't care. I think that the issue will be completely taken out um, because <coughs> every pension in the world... <coughs> Every mutual fund that is investing in interest-sensitive uh, 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 things, high-yielding mutual funds and ETFs and so on, they're all going to line up to get their share of this 4.5% interest-paying debt or 4.6% or whatever that whatever it's going to go for. Um, I think it'll all go um, because the old debt, a lot of it, was paying a half a percent to 1% interest and now it's going to be rolled into this 4.5% to 4.75% interest. And I think the rollover is an automatic, and uh, the, added, the added $40 billion uh, is wanted. And so the U.S. government will have no trouble, in my humble opinion, to raise the money they need because Americans are the greatest people uh, this planet has ever placed on the face of the earth. Does that make any of you happy in the United States? <laughs> um, Germans are the are also the greatest people. So are Canadians. Uh, Brits are nice. Uh, Finns are pretty cool. French, Italians. Uh, as a matter of fact, all people are beautiful. Uh, so there you go, America. Everyone wants to be just like you. And there you have it. I hope you feel better. Welcome, everyone, to the show. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, what's going on? Uh, the Bible-thumping Republicans in the House of Representatives are passing all kinds of legislation they're trying to get bills through, uh, which have virtually no chance of becoming law because the Senate's going dead on arrival, go back, try again. And the president's going, I got a veto pen here. I'm not going to only give money to Israel and not give money to Ukraine. So go back to the drawing board and get your get your Republican friends together in the little clown room that you have and, and come up with plan B, C, D, E, F, um, and see if you can get something done. Um, it's crazy out there. It's just nuts. We on the outside looking in are just going, what? Th nothing's going to happen. They're not going to get anything done. There's going to be a government shutdown. There's going to be a government shutdown. No question about it. Uh, there, there's no hope of, of a deal coming out that we can see at the moment. Um, what else did I want to tell you today? Oh, 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 okay. Today is the 6th of November, okay? That means today, according to my schedule, I believe Matterport is going to come out with numbers. Um, and uh, ME, uh, 23 and Me is going to come out with numbers. Uh, tomorrow, Spire is supposed to come out with numbers, uh, according to my, my sheet here. And then Rocket Lab on Wednesday, uh, Smart Rent on Thursday. Um, so we got, we got some numbers coming up uh, this week from some of our favorite uh, former SPACs. So we'll keep an eye on that, see what's going on. Um, I know SoFi's up like four cents this morning, uh, um, and 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 uh, our friends over at uh, GameStop were a little higher. Let's take a look at the pre-market. Uh, Rocket Lab is up seven cents. SoFi's up four. GameStop up fourteen to fourteen oh one again. Matterport up nine to two twenty nine. Uh, twenty three and Me is up three point eight to ninety seven cents. If this thing closes over a dollar. Then uh, rollback is off the table. A delisting is off the table. Anything over a dollar. Uh, Spire, um, we're up six cents at 420. 
Smart rent, we're up 13 at 279. These are all pre-market quotes. We have uh, almost 50 minutes to go, a little over 51 minutes to go before we start trading on this. So we have news. uh, We're waiting for news there on a number of these guys in the next couple of days. Apple is down 41. Goldman is off 52, but uh, Cisco is up 13. Tesla's up 359 now at 223.55. Arc Innovations up 27 cents. Microsoft is up 64 to 353. Pfizer up a dime. HPQ up seven. Alphabet up 13 cents. Amazon up 38 cents. Nvidia is up 404 a share to 454 now. Remember, we touched 395 a week and a half ago. Unity up 48. AI was as low as what? 23 something? 28.94 on AI up 35 cents. Adobe up 63 and Netflix up 58. I note that um, that uh, these prices of these uh, various uh, uh, the larger cap stocks um, still um, allow those of you out there who are following me every morning, waiting for me to do a trade alert, uh, a, a, a trade tip video of the day. Um, all through October, I was offering uh, trade uh, tip uh, iron condor trades on NVIDIA, Google, on Spider, uh, Spider, uh, the market, uh, the index, uh, Tesla, Unity, Triple Qs, Amazon, Apple, um, and on and on. Um, AI, uh, every single one of these, pretty well, every one of them is uh, working out. Uh, they're, uh, the condors are sh- slipping and slipping. Most of these, or a lot of them, were November 17 expiry contracts and now lately December 15 expiries. And these contracts are shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And um, you guys are letting me know. Uh, you're telling me, hey, I, I, did the, I did that condor on this. I did a condor on that. And I'm winning. I'm winning. Uh, we did one again today on, on another stock. If you're a Gold Bagel member, you saw the video this morning. And uh, if you're not a Gold Bagel member, get your butt over there, become a Gold Bagel member, and you get your trade alert, uh, your tip every day. And you can watch all the trade tips I've ever done. I believe once you're a member, you can go into the library. I think that's how that works, unless I'm mistaken. Anyway, uh, look, uh, hey, uh, writing condors on 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 spiders and triple Qs and Unity and, and Amazon and Apple, we had some really nice credits collected here. Um, like a dollar up to two and a half dollars a, a, a condor uh, credit spreads your direction. And uh, <clears throat> I, I make no bones about it. I, I try to give you iron condor recommendations that are really conservative um, where your chances of making dough are pretty high. <coughs> and even if you took 80 cents of the dollar off the table, which is an easy trade, I think. Um, there are some of you out there who I know are writing 10 at a time, 15 at a time, 20 at a time, 40 at a time. And uh, if you need 5,000 a month to get by on or 4,000 a month to make a living to, to, to survive on, you need 1,000 a week for all your bills, kind of give you a little cushion to survive on, rather than just eat you know, pork and beans out of a can, 1,000 a week or more will, will keep you in the lifestyle you're used to. You need to make four or five grand a month, uh, and you're going to pull out a dollar a condor in in net profit, just a buck a condor. The math is simple. You need 40 condors a month or 50 condors a month, somewhere in there, to pull out four to five grand a month. That's that's the math. Now, if the condors have a $5 spread or a $10 spread between the calls up here and the puts down here, uh, then you know how much capital you need to do these trades. And in in some some cases, I know a number of you are doing, uh, uh, you know, 10 uh, trades at a time with a $10 spread and you're using about 10 grand to do it. Uh, some of you have 30, 40, 50,000 available to you to, to, to do these trades. And if you do, you have enough. You pretty well have enough to probably not have to work anymore. And, and there's the the shocking thing for newbies who come into this show, into this channel. New people who find me are quickly asking themselves as they read all the comments from the members here and the non-members, 
how much money do I need to be able to not have to work anymore if I'm going to do condo writing? And uh, I'm thinking if you've got yourself thirty to 50000 bucks, you are easily able to write enough condors to not have to work anymore. And they are conservative condors. These are not like risky, you know, $3 spreads between calls and puts and it better work out. And they, I'm only writing two-day condors and I'm gambling everything. None of that kind of crap. I am throwing you guys condor trades that are so conservative, 85% shot at making money and higher, I think. Um, and you don't have to wait till the end of the condor's life. And there's the secret to being self-employed. Um, you can write a condor for six, eight, ten weeks if you want. You can create one of those. But now you're only turning over your condor trades every two months. And if you're writing, you know, 20 of them, let's say, even 20 of them, and you make a dollar a condor, dollar 20 a condor, you're making $2,400 in two months. That's not a thousand a week. It's not good enough. Uh, but if you're able to do condors every three weeks and you're hauling in two to three grand every three weeks, all of a sudden that 1,000 a week number starts to make sense. If you're able to create 40 to 60 condors a month, there you go. If you have more than that, and here's the secret to life, baby, if you can crank out uh, and turn over 60 to 100 condors in a month on average, you don't need um, a dollar a condor to pull out four to five grand. You need 40 to 50 cents a condor with 100 condors to pull out four to five thousand a month. In other words, the first 40 to 50 cents your condor makes you, that's your nut. After that, you're adding to your account because if you're going to withdraw four to five thousand a month from your trading account to live off of, but you're bringing in eight to ten thousand a month gross, you're leaving the rest behind to grow the account and write more condors, meaning that each condor you subsequently create going down the line needs less and less of a payoff for you to make a living. And this is the comfort zone I want you to get to. I want to get you guys to the point where you're going, yeah, I'm I'm doing 200 condors a month. No problem. I do 25 at a time. I got a whole bunch of positions going. I got 50 at a time. Uh, you only need 20 cents a condor on your 200 condors to pay all your bills. Uh, and you're writing condors with uh, 140, 180, two dollars and thirty cents. Uh, 132 credits. These these are the credits credits you're getting uh, up front, and you're trying to take out of these trades a, a buck a condor, ballpark, maybe more. But a dollar a condor times 200 condors, twenty thousand a month. A dollar a condor at a uh, hundred condors, ten thousand a month. A dollar a month on fifty condors, five thousand a month. So there's what you need to get to to let condor trading be your be your way up now you want to go aggressive and i know some of you do you can't help yourself or if you want larger credits you can play longer term condors you can go out two and three months four months on condors and is it bringing in a dollar twenty a dollar fifty in credit the first initial creation of a condor might bring you three to four dollars in credits now you're saying to the market look I'm not holding this four month condor for four months. I want this condor, I want to buy it back with about six weeks to go. I want to take the first $2.50 off the table on this $4 credit condor. That's what I want. When it's down to a buck and a half, I'll close it out and I'll write another four month. So you're doing a rollover every two to two and a half months, not every four months. But you're doing larger dollar transactions now. And that comes back to mathematics. It's as simple as mathematics. If the spread on your condos is exactly the same as the spread on the condors I'm recommending that are a little closer in, you don't need more capital. It's a question of how many can you create? And if you can pull out a 250 credit on condors, you can do 50 over a month, or over two months, you can do 50 of them. That's $12,500. Divided by two months, it's 6200 a month. More than four to, four to five a month to live on. There you go. So 
do your mathematics, figure out what works for you, take the classes, especially class number 16 on condor writing, and uh, let's see how you do. By the way, thank you again. Like I said earlier, uh, those of you taking advantage of this deal that's going across the screen here, grabbing five classes for the price of four, your time is running out. We are going to say goodbye to this deal in 11 days. The 17th is the last day for this uh, offer. Then we're back to 150 bucks a class. Um, but if you got uh, you've got uh, you know 10 classes under your belt, uh, there are six more to get. Well, here's five of them that you can score. You can grab your hands on, score these guys, and uh, go from there. Okay. Once you score these, once you decide, I'm doing it, Bruce. I'm going to get my hands on these. Um, uh, I'm going to get them my hand on these uh, these classes then make a donation to the PayPal account. There it is right there. You'll see it down below in the description. Send $599.99 US to this PayPal account. And then send me a private email right here and say, Uncle B, I just sent you $599.99. Here are the five classes I need. And just tell me what numbers they are. And I'll send you the links after these live shows to get you all set up. Okay? Uh, if any of you are ordering one class at a time off the website, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, and you're having any issues there, send me an email, brucefarmer.hotmail.com, and we'll sort it out for you. All right? We'll keep you in the chips and try to make you richer as best we can. All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging in there and joining me this morning. Great to see you guys. I hope you had a good weekend. Lame Duck is here. Richard Carlin's here. The thumbs up's already coming in. I thank you. We got 58 thumbs ups. Come on, baby. Keep them coming. Thank you. We're up 20 on the Dow, up 7 on S&P. We're up 27 on the NASDAQ. Trying to open higher today. We're at 93 cent gain on crude. No sell is saying, uh, uh, is today's ATIP report going to raise the stock by 50,000%? Uh, Robert's going to catch me later. Hector is here. How you doing, Hector? Number nine. Good morning, Marie. Good morning, folks. How you doing, Marie? Um, mine says there are 12,000 likes already. How about that? Uh, DH, uh, uh, number 17, um, uh, Radon's here. Radon's here. Um, how you doing? I, I hope SoFi surges up when the market opens. So do all of us. BZ is in the house. Number 18. Welcome, buddy. Amy is here. Good morning, number 21. Lorraine, number 23. Karen, I'm 25. White feather. I thought I was 25. Mickey uh, is here. How long to the market opening? Cloud 7, laughing out loud. Samuel, 26. Good morning. Uh, Cloud 7 um, travel. Good morning, everyone. Just saying hi before I head out on my commute. Ravenstown, when is uh, Canada giving money? Uh, when is Canada giving money to anyone, Bruce? Marie number, uh, Marie B, 930, Mickey. That's when we open up, baby. Uh, come on, Mickey. Manager number 45. Vivash is 46. Manager, Uncle Bruce, I think you forgot to give the details on Meta. Iron Condor. Oh, I did not forget. Uh, the uh, the details on the Meta Iron Condor are in the video that Gold Bagel members get because they're Gold Bagel members. If you're not a Gold Bagel member, you don't get the trade of the day. Uh, the trade of the day is for these folks, and I encourage as many of you as possible, become a member of this channel. For a measly $25 a month, you get a trade alert, trade tip, five days a week when the market's open five days a week. And if one, one trade tip that I can give you can make you $300 profit for a trade, there's your entire year of Gold Bagel membership paid for. That's all it takes. And I defy you to not make more than $300 on these trades because a lot of you are picking up five and 10 and 15 and 20 at a time and you're making thousands. Um, there's a lot of Gold Bagel member, members here going, I don't know what the big deal is with this Gold Bagel membership. I can't understand how you would not be a Gold Bagel member of this channel. I, I, I just don't get it. Have you been here a while and you've watched this guy and you've seen these folks comment on how they're doing in this market? You'd think there'd be a lineup of people getting the Gold Bagel level. So, you know, there's privileges for being a Gold Bagel member. This is one of them. The Trade Alert Show before this one is the second one. Wednesday night prime time is the third one. Uh, I think there's a lot of value in the money to be a Gold Bagel member of this channel. Larry Titus, good morning, everybody. Number 51, dude. That's a lot of burbs. Uh, touch grass, top of the morning, everybody. Larry, good morning. TD Ameritrade, hello. Chucky Schwab. 
Looks like my account migrated successfully this weekend. Dean, good morning, everybody. No sell, no sell. Come on, ATIP. Antigen needs a new pair of hips. Luca is in the house, number 64. Good morning, everybody. Dude, Gold Bagel membership has its perks. Um, for almost, so Uncle Bruce, would you suggest a March 29-ish iron condo at roughly the 390 to 460 range, or should that be wider using 380, 470 as backstops? What stock are you talking about? Are you talking about Tesla? Are you talking about Microsoft? Are you talking about, you got to help me, man. You, you, you can't assume that I know what you're asking me about because there are times where I've guessed and I've gone on to a tangent for five minutes only to find, no, I'm not talking about that stock. I'm talking about this stock. Well, you tell me what you're talking about. Help me help you. Okay, there you go. Um, <laughs> I know nothing. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Spider, SPY, Bruce. I'm not even talking about a stock. I'm just talking about the index. Uh, I'm sorry, Bruce. Man, you guys sometimes make it hard on me, you know. Um, okay, um, what should I do on Spider, Bruce? Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. Let me take a look at it. Forcing me on the spot. Uh, man, I'll do the best I can. Uh, Spider closed at 434.69 on uh, on Friday, and the spiders right now are 435.39. Okay, 435 is where we're at, and you're asking me, uh, where am I? You're okay, we're at 435, and you're asking me 390 to 460 range. Am I what, what am I missing here? Um, uh, what's wrong with me? Uh, spider 434. 434. Okay, 434. 390 to 460. Okay. Um, uh, spider. Spider. Um, my trade alert was lower, a little lower on the uh, on those, um, on the puts, and uh, the highs were not quite that high. Uh, but um, yeah, this, this isn't so bad. Um, yeah, that's not a bad trade. That range, I, I think you can you can work on that. Yeah, uh, but I'd be going out to December. Um, I'd be looking out to going to December fifteen. Um, I'd be going out of ways and then uh, taking premiums, making sure nice, healthy premiums come your way, and then you know look for eighty percent of that to to score. Okay, just a kind of a heads up for you. Right on, everybody. Uh, easy money taking the dough. Ho ho ho. Um, Welcome to the party, everybody. I'm glad you're here with us. And uh, uh, Citigroup is planning staff reduction of at least 10% in some areas. Gee, I wonder if that's because SoFi is stealing business. Um, these big banks are cutting their staffs. I think these, these big outfits with all their branches, they're going to cut branches. They're going to cut branches in small centers and keep branches in big centers um, because they're going to get their butts handed to them by companies like SoFi. Uh, SoFi is so efficient and it's so cheap for SoFi to offer services across the country to millions of people without branches. Uh, these big outfits like Bank of America, Wells Fargo and others are gonna get their butt handed to them. And we're not talking this year or next year. I'm talking the next decade, 20 years, the next 10, 20 years, watch the number of bank branches drop. Just like gas stations drop, bank branches have dropped. Um, um, and will continue to do so because it is impossible for a small bank branch to make money uh, for the company uh, if you're in a town of 20,000 people, 30,000 people, 50,000 people. It's very difficult to compete with a very low-cost financial outfits of fintechs uh, uh, like, like SoFi. Uh, you can't offer all the services that SoFi can offer at a click of a button on a phone. I mean, every small town in America, everybody has one of these. And um, as each week goes by, each month, each year goes by, college grads, uh, kids turning 16, 18, 20, 21, like every year, everyone gets a year older. This next generation of, of consumers are bank, uh, bank consumers. They're not going to walk into a branch in downtown wherever. That's what grandma and grandpa used to do. I remember my mom and dad used to go to the bank once a week. I don't go to the bank. I do everything on my phone, man. I got a life to lead. I got social media to watch. I got to watch Uncle Bruce. Um, by the way, thank you to any of you. If you caught my other channel, 
Uh, last night, it went viral. Traveling with Bruce had a viral moment uh, over there. I did a video about going to Stockholm, Sweden. You remember when I was in Stockholm? I did a video about going to Stockholm, Sweden. I made a couple of short videos uh, on there through this new AI thing I've got. One of my shorts, 2,500 views, just boom. Uh, I haven't had that ever. So thank you for any of you who caught that. I appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, so much. All right. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, nice to see you here. Manager, Uncle Bruce, I'm pardoned, but uh, do you not forget to give details on how you were setting up the Meta Condor deals on the uh, trade alert? Did anyone notice that I, I showed it? I showed the uh, the uh, details. They're there. I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Small, small town scenes loans are necessary for money laundering. Yes, we need those. Um, so do we, we need racetracks too. Touch guys, uh, there are different rules for block trading shares over 10,000. Some of us in here will be writing a thousand contracts at a time. Daisy, there's no rules on that. There's no no changes. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think there are. Uh, not that I'm aware. All righty. Uh, welcome, welcome all to the show. We are 30 minutes away from opening for the day. We're ahead, but just barely. Uh, the Dow's up 0 0.03 of a percentage point. This is a nothing burger. Um, we're only up six points on S&P. That's 0.15 of a percent. NASDAQ 0.18. Uh, this is not uh, enough to convince me we're going to have an up day here. We're going to have a tentative opening, and we're going to test the opening. We're going to test lower limits. We're going to see if we bounce off of any sell-offs. Just Watch for all of that. But those of you out there doing uh, rollovers on options, uh, keep an eye on the pricing of your stock, your underlying stock against your contracts. Uh, let's see how that plays out. Some of you out there who wrote calls in the last uh, week and a half now are going to be watching closely to see if there's any shrinkage coming and or price shrinkage. Watch for that. Might be buyback opportunities on stink bids. Um, very good. Those of you out there who are trying to figure out uh, the 90-10 rule, uh, I know I get I get asked this question so many times, even though I've done a lesson on 90-10 rule, um, I keep getting asked the question, and I understand it because I am trying to make some of you do stuff that you've never done before. I'm trying to get you into a into a frame of mind to train your brain to understand what the 90-10 rule really is and how it really works. Uh, <clears throat> the key here is all you have to remind yourself of is what price am I paying for a deep in the money call? That might be good until 2026. If the price of the call that I am buying, that I'm going to use to write against when I write calls against it, if at least 90% of the price that I am paying for this call is actually book value, not time value, then I got the right contract. So in simple terms, if there's a stock out there trading at $30 a share and you're buying a $15 call on a $30 stock, there's a $15 book value in there. That call has a $15 book value. A $10 call against a $30 stock has a $20 value. A $20 call against a $30 stock has a $10 book value. All right? So back to that $15 contract. If it's $15 strike price and a $30 stock is the one you're after, we're talking about a $15 book value contract. You can't pay more than 10% more than that price. $15 plus 10% is $1.50 equaling $16.50. So $16.50 or less is the price you are paying for a deep in the money call with a 90-10 rule being observed. You can get it for $16.25. You're a genius. You get it for $16.80. You're paying a little too much. Now, if it's all the way up to 2026, two-year lifespan, you can get away with a little more than a 90-10 rule, but not by much. You do not pay $25 for a $15 contract that only has $15 book value. You are now nuts. You have 
You're wasting money. Because at the end of the day, you're going to write a call against your $15 deep in the money call contract. You're going to write calls against it. And you want to have as little shrinkage as possible on the book value of the call that you acquired. You want as much shrinkage as humanly possible on the call you're writing. Yeah, but you're not writing 2026 calls against a $15 deep in the money call option. You're buying a deep in the money call, good till 2026, so that you can write two and three and four month contracts now out of the money. So in other words, over $30 against it. And so if you can bring in $3 in premium on a $32.50 contract, uh, good for four months, five or four or five months, you're bringing in $3 in cash against a call you paid $16.54 or less you're bringing in 17, 18% against the cost of the contract you just bought. Smart economic move, all right? I hope this is helping. I know some some of you out there constantly are, 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 are grappling with the 90-10 rule, constantly grappling with it, but this is the secret to it, all right? Um, due to seeing manager, that setup starts at 129 mark on the gold bagel tip for the Meta Iron Condor. We, uh, we, uh, it's in there. Uh, check the video again. Uh, I don't understand what you're missing. I, I don't get it. I don't, does anyone else have the concern of manager that they don't understand the trade that I recommended this morning on Meta? Uh, anyone else? Uh, or is it just manager missing it? Uh, Mandu, um, good morning, all. I am number 79 this morning on the thumbs up meter. Bruce, you're going for 100 thumbs ups before the opening, and I'm at 79 already. We now have 80 thumbs ups that have come through here. Thank you all so very much for the 80 thumbs ups. I think it's time to honor the Knights of Knee that are out there. Um, we can't ignore these guys. We must bring out the knee emojis, knee, 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 to let the world know that we honor and respect the power of the Knights of Knee with respect to our investments. Uh, if you watch the life, uh, the uh, if you watch the uh, search for the Holy Grail, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't watch uh, the, not, the the search for the Holy Grail, you are vulnerable to losing all kinds of money in the market. I can't help you. I just can't help you. DH knows. Nee, nee, nee. Oh yes. Uh, so does White Feather. Oh, I honor the Knights of Me. Don't ignore these guys. Uh, the power. Luca knows. Nee, 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 nee. Dean. Nee, 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 nee. Aurora. Neat, 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 neat. Grazie, Uncle B. You got it, buddy. I hope you hope it's working. I hope it's I hope it's sinking in. Uh, Larry, neat, 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 neat. There you go, babies. Uh, the neat emoji attack is happening. Don't mess with the Knights of Knee from uh, Search for the Holy Grail. You must honor these. They're ruthless. They're absolutely ruthless. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> we have some fun here. If you have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, you're obviously new. Uh, you're going to have to stick around a while to figure this all out. Uh, we're having too much fun here. Uh, the Credit Savage of Wall Street is in the house. Good morning, my fellow simpletons and degenerates. I hope everyone has sold cover calls on almost everything up to this point, and we are making money. Moody put the USA on uh, on notice, I think. Uh, we're going down, baby. Uh Interesting. Uh, computer whiz. Neat, 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 neat. Farmless. Um, uh, my telegraph is going crazy. What in the world? Neat, 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 neat. That's right, baby. The neat emojis are hitting the wires. Uh, we're up just six on the Dow, uh, five on S&P, 25 on NASDAQ. Oil up 88 cents. There's the story. And I'm sticking to it uh, at the moment. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, comical uh, name. I'm here, buddy, uh, number 82, uh, late, but I'm here, number 82, thumbs up. Thank you, my friend. Credit Savage of Wall Street. Oh, by the way, some silly company names Matterport is uh, having earnings today. I got my 10,000 shares. Do you? Uh, manager. Okay, sorry. I see it. I need a coffee. Uh, spicy. Nee, nee, nee. Uh, manager finally figured it out. The uh, Credit Savage of Wall Street. Coffee, baby. We need coffee. I've had mine. Can you tell? Uh, I'm all caffeined up. Uh, welcome all. I got caffeine-free cola going in here to kind of <gasps> calm the hell down. All right. Uh, let's see if we can make you guys richer. We open in 22 minutes, and we're going to see how things uh, work out. Uh, let's take a look here. Rocket Lab 
is up five cents at 466. SoFi is up six. GameStop up nine. Matterport now up eight cents to 228. The 23 and Me is up 3.8 to 97 cents. We got Spire up seven cents. We have uh, Smart Rent ahead by 13 at the moment to 279. We got companies coming up with earnings in the next couple of days. Apple down just 29 now. A uh, Goldman up 18. Cisco up 10. Tesla up 330, ARC up 30, Microsoft up 55, Pfizer's up 7, HBQ up 18, Alphabet up 28, Amazon up 30 cents, NVIDIA up 350, Unity up 61, AI uh, is sitting at 29.15, up 55 cents, Adobe up 138, we got Netflix up 93 cents. Uh, most of the big cap stocks are up less than a dollar each, so we're talking about like in the old days, we would say fractional gains. Uh, in the old days, when I was a broker, we traded in uh, in uh, eighths, quarters, uh, 12 and a half cents, 25 cent increments, uh, three eighths, uh, half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths of a dollar. And if a stock was up a, uh, an eighth or up a quarter, we were talking about fractional gains, less than a dollar a share. Uh, those are the old days. Uh, now, I think that ended around the uh, late 80s, if I'm not mistaken, because computers took over the trading of a lot of stocks. And the uh, members of the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ and, and the American Stock Exchange were going, hey, we got all these computer systems that now have taken over the trading of stocks. Um, you know, we, we just oversee them and, and and keep an eye on them but really the inter trading of stocks between you know computers are trading with computers we can go down to pennies uh, and then the geniuses with the with the software programs came up said we can go down to one ten thousandth of a penny like we can go down to a fractional of a penny so that if someone buys a hundred thousand uh, ibm um they can flip it for less than a penny and make money uh, because the number of shares times the fractional thing. There's dollars in them there, Hills. And so uh, all kinds of software programs came out to do day trading, algorithmic trading in fractions of pennies, in and out, in and out, in and out. And uh, welcome to the party, pal. Uh, we're still see we're going to see that for the rest of our lives. There you go. That's the story. Uh, morning all from not a lurker anymore. I'm number 76. Good morning. Uh, Beach Boy Coke Zero here. Degenerate porting, reporting for duty. Welcome, sir. Nice to have you in the house. Um, Credit Savage. Now, all we're missing is the bagel. Uncle Bruce, I sold cover calls on everything except Matterport. Already rolled to July in some cases. And how do I feel? Take me out. Uh, if I get taken out on SoFi, the trade is 45 grand. I dare you. Uh, Credit Savage, what is wrong with that trade? What, what, what is wrong with that? Who cares is saying, good morning, I'm number 86 on the thumbs up meter. Thank you for these thumbs ups, guys. We're approaching 100 with 18 minutes to go before we open for the day. 87 in the house, uh, going for 100 and then beyond. Thank you all for being part of the show. I love you. And it's great to have you here. Thank you, one and all. Lots of activity going on out there. Tons of stuff happening. What is going to happen today? We're going to find out. Uh, so much fun about to be had. Hopefully, a bunch of you here will just, just get richer and uh, you'll take the money. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, gamblers, uh, we the casinos here are more than happy to grab the dough. Um Interesting, interesting stuff. Citigroup plans staff reductions of at least 10% in some areas. There you go. There's your headline coming across there. Uh, the Pepsi uh, CFO, uh, a guy named Johnson, I'm sure it's a guy, uh, leaving after 13 years to become CFO of Walt Disney. So that's a Dow 30 component uh, uh, move there. That's a big one. I got a heck of a job on your hand. Uh, CFO of Walt Disney. Um, Tesla could have a $27,000 EV. The report is boosting the stock. Well, now, you know how this game works, guys. Uh, if you're following Tesla, you know how this works. Uh, 
Tesla might announce a $27,000 EV, but by the time you add the features on it that you want, it's a $35,000 to a $37,000 EV. So you get a small little compact car worth almost $40,000 when you could just get your hands on a Model 3 with all the glitches out of it with the latest upgrade, and you're talking 40, 45 grand for that vehicle. Why? But hey, I get it. I get it. I I understand. That's how it's done. Uh, the truck is about to hit the road in the next few months. So we'll find out about that. Uh, the Model Y is going for a complete upgrade, just like the Model Three. Those will hit the roads in the U.S. next year. We got things happening at Tesla. The stock is higher uh, this morning. Uh, it was up this morning. Uh, Tesla now up three forty one to two hundred twenty three dollars. 37 cents so we'll watch for that interesting stuff over at berkshire hathaway um the oracle of, of wall street uh they're sitting on 153 billion dollars of cash and they're having trouble finding where to put it they're having trouble where to put the money um i would suggest sofi would be a good place to put some of that but 153 billion uh they buy that bank in a microsecond they need big big deals to move into and they're shopping and they're looking and they have yet to find what they really like they've made moves in and out of certain stocks but the cash balance keeps growing because they are a dividend collector as well and of course they're earning now four and a half to five percent on that money from the higher interest rates that are out there so they're hauling in seven and a half billion in cash from interest alone for their investors uh so uh okay uh, not a bad move there uh play that's a decent place to park your money of course remember our friends at gamestop as you know to go the opposite side of the world gamestop is hauling in probably five five and a half percent on their 1.2 billion in cash and in december we're going to find out how the third quarter worked out for uh, gamestop 60 million a year in interest is coming into that company easily 15 million a quarter interest into gamestop uh thank you very much gamestop says that took 15 million off the pressure off the retail stores right there that's 15 million in profit uh to help us over any kind of glitches i i think gamestop is going to report a profit i think they're going to report profits going forward i i just do We'll see how it plays. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, what else is going on? Beach Boy Credit. I, I hated what, uh, what I hated. I don't know what he said. JR, I'm 88. Good morning, everybody. Um, uh, uh, Raid right on here. I have a share of Walmart. I'm down 50 cents, uh, debating selling it and buying an additional 165 of, of SoFi. I don't see five dollars of SoFi. A big player here. Credit Savage, welcome to the show. Uh, Credit Savage, you got to start somewhere. Beachy, uh, what's up, my man? I've rolled my AI covered calls to July 35s already. It's beautiful. Almost $7 in premiums for those trades. And my AI cash that you put's the king. I love this game. Um, Credit Savage starts with class one number, kids. Uh, just get the first class and buy your first 100 shares of anything and uh, see it happen it's not rocket science uh credit savage knows marie i'm assuming most people don't own a uh, don't own a livestock in the beginning uh so should a person in that case focus on buying calls and puts to build a bit of cash portfolio before purchasing cheap stock no no marie no 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 you do not you do not invest in options to begin the program that we have here no, that's the last thing you do no you do not buy any options no, you will uh, uh, probably do uh, uh, a covered call right as your first right. Um, you can buy 100 shares of something and write an option against it. Uh, you could even buy SoFi at 805 with 100 shares. Uh, I'd probably recommend that you buy 100 shares of SoFi for $800 and then write a, um, oh, I don't know, a January uh, 2025 ten dollar call against it um you'd probably get a buck 40 for it something like that take that in uh and then sit there and watch and do this now watch this and as the stock fluctuates you'll watch how your option trades against it you'll understand and even if the unthinkable happens and your stock goes up to twelve dollars in one day 
um, will guide you through what to do next. <laughs> One, you'll be richer. Uh, two, you'll you'll learn the art of a rollover. Uh, we'll help you figure it out. Uh, since you don't have ten thousand SoFi, uh, you only have a hundred. Uh, you're okay writing a ten dollar call and taking in some money. Um, on the other hand, you could buy. Uh, Oh, I don't know. You could buy uh, uh, some uh, AI or you could go after uh, some Unity uh, and write on those, but that'll require more capital. Uh, you could, on the other hand, take $1,000, like with SoFi, take 1000 bucks and write a $10 cash secured put on SoFi for uh, January 2025 uh, or January 2026 and take a big put cash premium. And play that side of the market. You could do that, um, or you, you're going to need you're going to need a margin account. And I don't know if your broker will allow you, but you could look into uh, creating a condor. But you're not far enough along in the lessons to get there. So we we got to take you carefully, one step at a time, to build you up here. Uh, Credit Savage, uh, Marie, you don't need a lot of stock. Start with 100 shares. Touch grass. One of us. One of us. One of us become one of us. One of us. There you go. More joiners coming into this channel. Welcome all. We are opening in 11 minutes. Um, Larry will hit those bells for us. We got 96 thumbs ups now. 96. I thank you. If you can find that thumbs up button out there, we'll hit 100 here shortly. Um, and I love you for it, guys. Thank you so much for hitting the thumbs up. Uh, icon if you can hit the thumbs up button here 96 four to go to get the 100 and we're on our way there's 159 of you here and 96 thumbs up so there are 60 odd slackers uh probably hanging around here who have not hit the thumbs up button uh you guys could easily get us to 125 right now easily um that would be great uh thank you all for stepping in there if you can um as soon as you can thank you thank you and uh thank you all right what else is going on here? Uh, Splare, 96, baby. Good morning, y'all. Finally done with my nap. Uh, good afternoon to you, Splare. Uh, Waverly, number 97. Sorry, sir. I just remembered I am number 97. Uh, Splare, thumbs ups, people. Hit that thumbs up for Uncle B. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. We're opening in uh, nine, nine minutes. We're up 28 on the Dow at the moment going into the market. Opening, we're up eight and a quarter on SP. We're up 29 on NASDAQ. We're trying to get a little bump up in the opening. I'm wondering how strong will it be? I don't know. Spicy, I'm number 100, buddy. I'm your 100 thumbs up. Thank you so much, everyone. Getting us into triple digits now. 109, here they come. The delay worked. I was, uh, I keep forgetting there's about a five, 10 second delay between what I say and what happens. Thank you, guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Here come the thumbs and the happy faces and the hearts and the woohoo celebrations, baby. There you go. I love that feature. Um, Karen says it now says I'm 77. <laughs> it's all right. It got us to 100. It helped us get there. It's all good, everybody. Thank you. Yes, we have a positive start. Nothing incredible, but it's you know, tentatively positive, sort of. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, we're waiting for uh, uh, earnings to be released. Um, ME, um, Matterport, um, Spire, uh, Smart Rent uh, coming up all this week, uh, coming up today, tomorrow, day after. So we've got the, we've got um, uh, reports coming. Rocket Lab is up five cents. SoFi is up four. GameStop's eight cents higher. Matterport up six. 23andMe is at 95 cents, up 1.82 cents. Spire up 7, Smart Rent up 13. Just waiting for the reports and see how much closer to break even or into profitability they get. Apple still down 16, Goldman off 32, Cisco's up a dime, Tesla's up 330, Arc Innovations up 26, Microsoft holding a 68 cent gain, Pfizer up 5, HPQ up 14. Google up 28, Amazon up 30, NVIDIA up 260, Unity up 80, AI up 53 cents, 29.12. Adobe down $1.34, and Netflix uh, uh, up 113. So, yeah, it's green pretty well everywhere, pretty well everywhere. It is green at the moment, and we'll see how things uh, work out as we keep going, guys. 
Welcome to the party, pal. It's nice to see you hi, uh, here and, uh, and see if we can get a higher on this market. All right, there it is. Uh, Alex, uh, I'm 106, baby. Let's go, SoFi. Dude, let's make the money. Maria Powell, good morning. I'm number 111, Bruce. Credit Savage, M Matterport, Matterport, Matterport. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby on the Matterport. Wouldn't that be lovely to have a hot start? On the day on Matterport, I'm uh, more than uh, eager for a run on Matterport. 226, uh, we'll see. Um, waiting to see what they're going to say. A scheduled report, uh, earnings coming out for on today. Uh, we're waiting. Um, companies reporting. Um, let's take a look here. I'm looking at uh, uh, companies reporting before the bell, after the bell. Today, uh, let's see, uh, after the bell, looking at this list of companies, a whole list, a ton of them, ton of them. And waiting, waiting, looking, looking, looking. Is Matterport reporting after the bell? Um, ATIP is reporting after the bell. Uh, they're saying. Um, uh, let's see. Who else? Is there a Matterport in here? Didn't know there would be somebody. Yeah, they're likely to report. Um, they're saying uh, a loss of six cents a share is likely. Uh, on sales of 39.1 million we'll see if that comes in if they or if they beat uh, and I I want to say that I think Matterport is sitting on a uh, bit of a cash pile um, let me take a peek here the last time we saw financials on Matterport um, we're at we're at 229 by the way up nine cents on a quarterly report um we had matterport release on the 30th of june for 30th of june we we heard and um uh they had 39 million in sales for the quarter 37 million the quarter before um and uh looking at the balance sheet there we go balance sheet of matterport um uh quarterly balance sheet is what i want not annual please quarterly balance sheet cash and short-term investments 445 million dollars is what they're sitting on so at five percent interest approximately that would make them 22 million a year in income uh from money uh, so that would be five and a half million a quarter not quite six million every three months so two million a month in interest uh coming in to uh, matterport uh every every uh every month uh so there you go uh, now looking back at the last quarter i'm quite curious about the latest quarterly financial their revenues um uh gross income uh and cg and and unusual expenses and interest expense they don't have any uh of course they don't have any debt um and uh, income it doesn't show it it didn't i don't believe it showed interest income I, I don't see it in the quarterly um let me look at the annual for uh, the last year that ended uh for 2022 sales revenue um gross income gross profit margins uh uh let's see equity interest expenses nothing um pre-tax income to, to the income tax. no they don't they don't show uh they don't show the the uh, the uh, the um, interest income. The, the the sales revenue 136 million. Um, the cost of goods were 84 million. This is last year, uh, and uh, gross income 51 million dollars, um, and um, gross profit margin 38 percent. Um, and then they had all their other expenses, but they weren't showing their uh, their uh, their their interest income. But it's two million a month, uh, so six million a quarter ballpark for Matterport. Right now, the stock's at two twenty nine this morning, up nine cents in the pre market with two minutes to go. But they report after the bell tonight, so we we have to wait till after the uh, the uh, 
market closes to find out how they did. The Dow is up uh, 31 points, S&P up 8.75, Nasdaq up 30, crude oil up 133. That is the story, and I am sticking to it at the moment. All right, guys, uh, there you are. Uh, we're getting close to running this market open. See what we got going here. Uh, thank you all for joining me. 117 thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Well above the, uh, the 100 level for the opening, so this is great. We're pushing now for 125 to 150. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Crad Savage, Green Day, we make money. Red Day, we make money. Waverly, um, eating a hot dog with only mustard in your honor, Uncle Bruce. Bobby uh, Matterport reports after the bell. Waverly having sauerkraut, though. Need to think of that gut health, you know. Ricardo uh, lurking here, buddy. And Gavin um, holding nearly 3,000 shares of SoFi between my pension and, and stock shares account. The average is six. I know it's going to be a mega investment in the future, Gavin. You're going to be rich, buddy. You're going to be writing 30 contracts, 30 contracts uh, down the road. And I can see the day where you're hauling in $250 a contract, $7,500 coming in just on option premiums. Gavin, you got to become a member of this channel, buddy. Uh, you got to join the group. Same with you, Ricardo. I need you as a member. Join us. Join us. Uh, Credit Savage, what's up? How come you're not a member of this channel? What's the deal here? Uh, who else? Uh, who else is not a member? Uh, Radon Gamer. Uh, hey, man, I know why Beach Boy isn't a member. He's got credit card problems. Uh, thank you. Those of you who are members of this channel and those of you who are not, come on in and join the party, pals. Let's go right now to comments from members only. We are about to open. Larry's about to hit the bells here. So it's time to uh, make adjustments and make commentary. From members only, thank you, lurkers, thank you, subscribers, and thank you, followers of this channel and all the thumbs ups that we've been getting today. We appreciate you. We love having you, and uh, welcome to today's party, everybody. Thank you all for joining in. We are opening now, and we are now going to follow the actual markets and see what we got going here. Thank you all for being part of this gang. Larry, there they are. Dude, Uncle Bruce, I'm up to 18 iron condors. And uh, le and uh, let's five credit spreads. Doing okay. Thanks to Uncle B. Right on, dude. JR, Dems, the Bells. Thank you, Larry. Right on. Yeah, when I see these, these reports, I, I love it when you guys tell me how you're doing on your condors, how many you're going into. I begin to, I can sense the kind of dough you're going to be making. Uh, if you're bringing in if you're able to write 20 condors on a monthly basis, you're bringing in a buck to a buck 25 net per per condor trade on average. You're bringing in two two and a half thousand bucks. Uh, that, that that's halfway there. That's halfway to quitting your job. Uh, this is good stuff, man. And it you know you just compound that. If you can compound that and build it to 22 condors, 25 condors to 30 condors, it, you know. It's not going to be long. Like we're talking a month or two or three where a bunch of you are going to break into that 30 to 50 condor inventory that you're managing on a monthly basis. And, and you guys are, you're not, you're gone. You're, you're out of the job. You're not going to work anymore. Uh, Wing Commander, I'm number 119. Better late than never. Welcome, my friend. I'm ni nice to have you here. Welcome all to the show. Uh, this is a wonderful thing. 121 thumbs ups have come through, everybody. Thank you. Uh, we're now taking a look at the openings. Matterport uh, waiting to see its first trade of the day. And uh, we got the market data coming through. Looks like the Dow is ahead by about, what, 99 at the moment. We'll see if that can hold or not. Let's see if there's a flash in the pan or if it's for real. We're up 12 and a half on S&P. We're up 53 on NASDAQ. We'll take the gains. Uh, we just don't know how strong they're going to be, but we'll take it. Uh, there's volatility in them there, Hills, so be cautious. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, thank you all, um, option writers, Condor creators. Well done, everyone. 122 thumbs ups. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Keep those cards and letters coming in, and we thank you so much for being part of this gang of the greatest YouTubers out there. Fantastic. Rocket Lab looks like a, a three cent gain at 464, early, kind of early to tell, only three minutes in. So far, it looks like we're unchanged. GameStop, we're up at 1402. Matterport, 
220, uh, roughly, uh, something like that. Spire up five cents. Um, I'm not sure if it's open yet. I guess it is. ATIP up 16. Uh, Smart rent down one and a half. Uh, we got uh, we got Apple up 19, Goldman up 26, Cisco down six, Tesla up 280, Arc up 16, Microsoft up 280, Pfizer up two, HPQ up three, Alphabet, Google up uh, down 19, Amazon down seven, Nvidia up 520, higher than the pre-opening, Unity up 28, AI showing a negative nine, I don't know now negative two, we'll see how long that lasts. Uh, Adobe up 260, Netflix up 32 cents. That's the deal. Um, U.S. stocks up slightly higher after the biggest weekly gains in about a year. That is how powerful last week was because of the uh, reports on interest rates, uh, the bond market really taking to heart uh, the statistics coming out of all of the U.S. economy, and they love the jobs report on Friday. The market loved the jobs report on friday so we could go higher i don't know we'll see what's going on here uh thank you everyone for being here marcus number 123 right now today's daily trade alert started with uncle bruce saying he just completed the day trade alerts confusing did i miss anything uh yes uh i was uh, behind my usual schedule i try to get my daily uh, uh trade of the day done and then i try to do my daily trade for pre-trade alert show and then the big show, and I was scrambling this morning to stay ahead of you guys. Um, not easy. Uh, Moon Shadow, th Uncle Bruce, thanks so much for the one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the time really gave me a renewed direction. The time is always worth the investment. Uh, thank you, Moon Shadow. You're the best, buddy. Uh, you know who you are. I know who you are, and uh, I thank you, pal. Uh, it, it, it is uh, much appreciated, and it's always a pleasure to get together with one-on-ones where we can, I can help you figure out where you're at, where you're, you let me know where you're at. I let you know where you could be at and what we're going to do and where we're going to go. And yeah, man, let's, like Alberto says, let's make the dinero and uh, welcome my friend and uh, congrats. And thanks also for being a follower of this channel as you have been for so long. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Uh, so many of you who comment all the time. I love you. Those of you who comment very infrequently, I know you're out there. I know some of you never, ever comment, and I know who you are. You, you tell me. I We meet at the meet and greets. Uh, you send me private emails. It's all good. I love you all, and, um, and I'm excited for every viewer of this channel. If you are learning how the option market works, there are paydays available to be taken off the table, and uh, why not take the money from the gamblers? They're just throwing it around willy-nilly you gotta take the money splare i probably found earlier today a perfect job uh directly in my hood so the nap was necessary well right on splare make it work buddy uh, a little little job on the side making money over here on the markets splare is on his way there will be a day i uh, mark my words there will come a day where splare tv will be a full-time uh asset manager He'll be looking after his accounts. He'll be looking after relatives. <laughs> uh, he's going to be hit up by all kinds of friends and relatives. Going to say, "Can you help me with my money?" And uh, Spare's going to be one very busy uh, uh, option uh, creator, and he's going to do incredibly well. And uh, there will come a time where uh, instead of me having to go to Europe to see Splare, he's going to come over to North America and catch up with us on a one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, we get to see him face to face. It's going to be a lot of fun. Touch grass. Uh, Schwab forgot to transfer my fees from TDA. <coughs> I don't even know what that means. But uh, if it's a good thing, I'm happy. If it's a bad thing, I'm not happy. I don't know what I mean. Manager Uncle Bruce, I missed the boat on the $10 so far, right? It is going down. I wouldn't worry about it, my friend. Uh, just uh, just take your time. There's no rush here. Um uh, uh, be very patient about it. Uh, uh, put your offer out there, um, and just just let the market figure itself out. You'll get them done. You'll get it done. But you're on it now, and you're going to get the rollover figured out. Not to worry. Don't worry about the glitches and little 
little moves. I wouldn't, don't even let it bother you. Uh, touch grass, it may mean nothing. Uh, that's true. Dude, I comment, Uncle B, but I'm not going to say I use proper sentences, structure, or spelling, but I definitely blather on. <laughs> I hear you. It's all good. It's all just fine. Welcome, everyone, to the program, to the to the, to the show this morning. 65-point uh, game right now. Giddy up. Uh, get, uh, way to go there, Beach Boy. Uh, nice job there. Uh, uh, well done. Um, um, <laughs> well, well done. Um, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? A splare. Uh, there will definitely be that that day. That kind of I can't wait for that, Bruce. I definitely look forward to catch you there during the festival. Jen mentioned in Calgary with the Cowboys and free food. We're talking the stampede uh, coming over for free, uh, free uh, stampede breakfasts. <laughs> Uh, Splair, you're going to be making so much money. Um, you, you're you're going to look at the first Stampede breakfast. You're going to go to the first one. You go, you know, I can buy, I can pay my own breakfast. And I get, I can get the top notch breakfast around this town. I don't need to buy this. I don't need to get this for free. But it's a good time. Uh, so don't worry, Splair. Uh, you're more than welcome, manager. But it is helping me on the big position. Uh, that's true. Uh, manager, we talked about this. We're on it. You're on it. Uh, way to go. Let's just, you just, yeah, buddy, it's going to be a good one. You're going to get this done, and it's going to be great. Uh, fantastic. Uh, uh, Beach Boy is busy this morning. He's letting me know on uh, on uh, on WhatsApp that he's got some trades going. Well done, uh, Beach Boy. Uh, <laughs> please tell Credit Kaching uh, that I pulled off a trade. Uh, I think that's, that's Credit Savage. Uh, that's a message to you. From Beach Boy, uh, he picked off 500 March 15, 9, covered calls at 81, pulled in $3,600 gain. Um, he wanted you to know, so well done. Flint Creek, I am here. Good morning, gang. Welcome, Flint Creek Soap Company, to the show. Nice to have all of you joining in us uh, with us here. We have 128 thumbs-ups, 166 watching. Keep those thumbs-ups coming, guys. We're going for 150 now. Thank you all very, very much for being here part of the gang today 51 point gain on the uh, on the dow um we are looking at uh uh here we go we've got uh end phase down 150 but we have gamestop up nine sofi at 790 down to 12 watch for that as usual uh 788 on sofi uh, apple up 111 netflix up 170 adobe up 360 ai down 43 nvidia up eight and a half Tesla up 580 a share. Um, we got the uh, Dow up 35, S&P up 8, Nasdaq up 59 right now. That's what's going on here. Um, Bobby Atkinson, uh, that's my retirement bucket list. Al Alberta, Stan Alberta Stampede. Uh, I'm not a country boy, but I enjoy beer. A splare, uh, uh, it's, it's just experience. Here it's mostly 10 euros for a snack at a festival. I hear you. Um, splare, and it's really a snack. It's not a meal. I, we hear you there. Yeah, around here, you get the free stampede breakfasts if you go downtown to the various corporate uh, uh, events. That's true. But then you can go to the stampede grounds and enjoy the stampede uh, itself. And uh, to get into the stampede uh, 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 grandstand, uh, big money, uh, to uh, get into the grounds in general, big money, and then to buy a hot dog at the Stampede or the corn dog or uh, or deep fried, uh, I don't know what, dollars. But it, for one time, it's worth it. It's a, it's a good time. You'll, you'll get a real kick out. If you ever come here to this Stampede, you guys, it's something else. Uh, you'll be you'll be dressed up in cowboy gear in no time. Uh, you'll you'll fit right in, everybody. You'll fit right in. Well, <laughs> welcome all <clears throat> to the program. We're still green, but I, I, I was telling you about an hour ago, I don't know how long and how far we're going to be green today. We're, we're going to test this rally. That's happening. I don't know if it's happening today. It might happen in 15 minutes, but there will be a test of this five-day game, and then we'll see just how much support there really is underneath these bids right now. And it might mean a higher run. It might be a bit of a sell-off with a bit of a recovery. There, there's a lot of technical stuff going on here. A lot of testing and a lot of questions. Uh, can this market keep going? 
if it keeps going, how much? If it backs off, how much will it back off? Will it only back off for a day or so and then go higher again? And if so, will it go way, way higher? Uh, is it going to go way, way lower? Is it going to give it all back? You got it all, kids. You got it all. It's emotion. And that's part of the psychology of this market. And that's why you need to be option writers. <laughs> you need to be in the position where you go, <clears throat> I don't care what direction it goes. It doesn't matter to me. The market can go higher. It can go lower. I make money regardless. You want to be that investor. That's the investor you want to become. Check out these classes if you can get your butt over there. Um, grab five for the price of four. Start with one, two, three, four, five. Get into six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get into 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then grab number 16. Learn how this is done and uh, become a miniature institutional investor uh, taking money from the innocents. Unbelievable. Anyway, there you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Bobby, is it <clears throat> is it in your area? The Stampede is in Calgary, right here in my hometown. Uh, Brian, good morning. I didn't remember what number thumbs up number I am, but I swear I did it. GameStop and SoFi are down. Oops. Uh, well, we're expecting volatility here. We've got uh, thumbs up 129 now. <clears throat> thank you for 129 thumbs ups. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, manager, you are smiling ear to ear right now. On that roll-up strategy that we talked about, uh, rollover strategy, uh, keep your eye on those quotes and uh, pull your bids and pull your offers. With this market adjust, you adjust. You've got work to do, manager. I know you're on it. Um, I know you're watching some shorts. And so you're a busy guy this morning. Well, well done. <clears throat> Thank you all for uh, being through here. 130 thumbs ups and counting. This is good stuff. I love it. Um, we're ahead on the uh, on the markets. Let's see how much, how much now. 46 on the Dow, 5.9 on S&P, and we're up 41 on NASDAQ. Holding our own there. <clears throat> All right. Bed Bath & Beyond, the CEO steps down as Overstock rebrands into Beyond. Uh, you know, I can't help re thinking about, what is it, a year ago? Was it a year ago that... Uh, that uh, Bed Bath & Beyond had a shareholder by the name of Ryan Cohen. And uh, the stock was at like $31 a share. And Ryan Cohen uh, was talking to the CEO, chairman of the board, the board of directors, and was suggesting, here are some things that you might want to consider doing going forward to elongate the lifetime of this company and to help the shares and i'm sitting i was sitting here i know i remember for sure that i was yelling yelling at the management of bed bath and beyond you want to listen to this guy and you want to you want to follow this guy because you have an opportunity at bed bath and beyond with the stock at 31 dollars a share now you have an opportunity to raise 250 million bucks at 25 bucks a share like that. The following that this guy has, you could easily raise a quarter billion dollars. You might even be able to raise $500 million in cash for free by just issuing stock. And you can take care of lines of credit and take care of your suppliers and re reignite everything. Uh, follow this guy's lead, uh, do what he says, and they went, nah, yeah, we're, 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 we're going to go to our investment bankers on Wall Street, and we're, we're going we're gonna to follow what they tell us to do. And it's all over. It's all over. Uh, Cohen walked away, blew off his stock in the teens, threw it in, and said, I'm out of here. And he took away $40 million bucks, whatever the hell it was, and uh, down went the stock to nothing and they got the whole bag of snakes for themselves you know it just blows my mind how stupid some management is out there it is unbelievable anyway there you go kids um thank you all uh splare <clears throat> my credit spread gained again on time depreciation but i think i wait a little now because there's no other call fixing to it so this done GameStop should hopefully go above 14 again. Um, I could maybe write 23 and a half, but then I have to give up a credit. 
I think you just sit back, square, fold your arms. Um, SoFi, 774, I think is where we're at. Uh, yep, down 27 cents on the SoFi. Uh, Bargoon City here, what can I say? We're uh, low of the day, 770, high of the day, 806. Those of you who have to do rollovers or those of you who are thinking of writing cash-secured puts on SoFi, it's getting more lucrative all the time. Maybe that's an idea. Uh, we got the Dow now in the red, down 2.8. We're negative. Uh, we're down. We're only up three on S&P. We're up 36 on NASDAQ. So it looks like we've we've touched the the uh, negative trade on the Dow. We're going to got to test it. We got to see, is there support? How much? Where? Um, is there a sell wave that's going to come through this? Are we going to go down two steps, up one step, down two steps, up one all day long? Is that going to happen? Because that seems to be going on right now. We started with a 100-point gain. I don't know. We'll follow it and see. Um, and, of course, those of you out there who are watching uh, uh, call contracts shrink down, that's what you want. Uh, we've got an interesting start to the day thank you everybody lame duck uncle bruce if i can give you something that i can give you something to think about if you lower your older lessons to 100 and get the newer members excited about writing they'll be buying more classes um no nah, we're not going to be doing that um what i might end up doing uh, down the road again i'm offering classes one-on-one -on -one, just buy them whenever you want but uh, i might have to start doing uh uh blocks of classes sort of like a a year one a year two a year three but that's down the road away. So I might do like, uh, you know, five classes as a grouping, five, and then the next five, and the next five. But right now, one at a time on my website, pick them off. They're all just as valuable as the others. And uh, depending on where you start, lame duck, thank you. Uh, dude, I've been dabbling in put credit spreads on TLT, cheap buying power. It seems like we have bottomed out the 20-year bonds. Easy premium, very interesting. Splare, agree, at least two of them for 100, the first ones. Uh, nice. Um, yeah, there will be no price cuts. I'll, I'll lame duck, the sooner they learn to make money, the more money you will make. Uh, uh, business 101. Brian, um, see news on South Korea banning naked short selling. Sounds like they are taking the lead on this. Interesting stuff. Derivatives, there's all kinds of short selling there that's not reported and that's not uh, um, uh, regulated. Wild West, man, the Wild West. So, yeah, whatever South Korea does is hardly going to stop anything. We'll see. Mm. Thank you all for joining me um, and being here. We have a thumbs up meter now, 132. Thank you, kids. Appreciate the 132 thumbs up. Keep them coming. We're up 11 on the Dow. We're trying to hold a gain. Uh, we're up four on the, almost five on S&P. We're up 39 NASDAQ. Oil up 135 to 81.86. Uh, $2 drop on oil, and you're into the 79 range, and we're going lower. So don't look for oil to do much here. And Marcus, I am writing cash secure puts and covered calls on TLL as well. I like it. Uh, interesting. Making some moves on TLL. Uh, okay. Giddy up, everybody. Um, knock yourselves out. I, I'm not sure what the TLL really is, uh, but uh, something's going on on TLL. If I've read this uh, message correctly, or TLT, I mean, uh, well, thank you. There, that's what the <laughs> that would help. Uh, that helps me figure something out. Uh, TLT, here we go. Uh, TLT, uh, let's try it for the fifth time, Bruce. Uh, can you learn to type? Bruce, can you learn to type? Uh, T L T. Is that coming in here at all? Uh, let's see if we can make this work. TLT, TLT. The iShares 20 plus year treasury is what this is. 8702 down 61 cents. All righty. US NASDAQ listed. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Uh, again, it's, it's not what I recommend, it's not what I talk about but hey uh if it's working for you it's working for you and you you've learned the basics of option writing uh and so option writing can be done on so many different areas uh interesting um let's see um what else is going on here uh yeah it also has a monthly dividend as well says marcus interesting stuff all right 
SoFi, 7.69, 7.67. We're hitting the lows of the day again on the, on SoFi, 7.67 range. Uh, the Dow now and the markets, we're down four on the Dow. <coughs> we're up three on S&P. We're up 29 on NASDAQ. That's what we got. Uh, watching all kinds of stock going through here. Um, let's check out our watch list right now. We have Rocket Lab underneath the, uh, at the moment down 13.8 at 447. Bargoon there. SoFi down 33. Bargoon City. GameStop up two. Matterport uh, down two cents at 217. 23 and me holding 95, up almost two cents. Spire up about two pennies, 416. ATIP down 11. Smart Rent down nine and a half. Sextera down a penny. Apple. Up 170, uh, Goldman down 36, uh, Cisco's down 7, Tesla holding a 125 gain at 221. Um, ARC down 41, Microsoft up 305, Pfizer down 12, HPQ down 10, uh, Alphabet down 35, uh, up 35, Amazon up 135, NVIDIA up 480, they're all green, Unity down 66, AI down 115, giving up some gains, Adobe down 61, and uh, we're up a penny on Netflix right now. That's what I see going there. A mixed market uh, going through here uh, at the moment. Alrighty, everyone. Thank you. Thank you uh, for being with me today. This market is uh, volatile. I uh, figured it would be. Uh, we've got to find out, can we hold the gains for the last five consecutive days or are we going to run into some profit taking selling uh and realignment we have 135 thumbs ups this morning thank you all very much and we've got a lot of stuff to watch at the same time a 15 point gain now on the dow we are we're jumping here but you know 100 points up and down is a nothing burger this is a 34 thousand point index a hundred points nothing one percent is 340 so if we don't move 150 points we have nothing going on there's nothing happening we're up 19 nothing going on. we're up five on s&p 31 on nasdaq all right uh in phase 77 14 367 down dip at the moment down three on gamestop SoFi 767, Apple up 192, um, Netflix up 30, Adobe down 7, AI down 122. The 2737, the low of the day, 2728. AI doesn't report until November 28th. So we got to wait 22 days, three weeks in a day before we hear from AI. That is a long time yet. NVIDIA is up 5, 570. Tesla's up 62 cents, hanging on. Um, Rocket Lab down 13, Matterport down 3. Well, nothing serious there. Smart rent up uh, down a dime. Pardon me. Owens Corning down 99. ATIP down a, a dime uh, at 763. Unity down 75. Google up 50. Moderna down 166. Cisco down six. Pfizer down eight. IBM is up one dollar at 148.90. Um, HPQ down 12. Microsoft 326 higher at 356 bucks. ME up two cents to 95.2. Amazon up 144, Home Depot down 42, Vatic down 40, Goldman down 35 cents, Boeing down 213, Meta is up 192, Target down 35, JP Morgan down 46, Costco up 491, uh, we got Walmart up 49, Disney up 14, American Airlines down 15, DraftKings up 23 cents to 33.98, AMC is up 27 to 11 dollars, 10.99, 11 dollars. Royal Caribbean down 82 cents at 91.54, everyone. Welcome to the party, pals. Never a dull moment in this market. Uh, 7.69 now on SoFi. Uh, the low of the session on our SoFi today uh, has been officially $7.64, and we're at $7.70 right now, uh, six cents higher than the low of the session at the very moment right now and the dow up 16 at the moment we were off 8 10 12 points uh, we'll see if there's more testing of these markets coming in i think there will be absolutely will uh we'll see what gives dude um 596 my direction on my calls written on ai 
Very nice. Well done, dude. That pays for a bunch of classes. You're doing just fine. Keep it going, buddy. Well done. You know, these $150 classes, uh, what I find interesting is when people tell me, well, you know, if you could lower your prices, uh, that would be better. I think to myself, if $150 is a big deal, um, then you're in big trouble. Uh, if you're going to be an option writer, you got to have a couple of grand lying around to really get going on this. And a $150 investment on a class here and there and here and there should be a no-brainer. The Gold Bagel level at 25 bucks to get a daily trade tip, a uh, daily trade uh, pre-alert show, and a weekly one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this is uh, Bargoon City. Uh, I, I can't... Uh, I know, and I know you know, many of you tell me this. You tell me how expensive other channels are and other financial uh, gurus and uh, and whatnot, instructors. There are people out there charging two, four, six, eight, ten thousand dollars for the knowledge that you can get here at 150 bucks a class. And you can't get them for less than five grand, like it's a minimum five thousand dollar investment. There are others out there who charge ten and twenty thousand dollars for their knowledge, um, and have for years, years. You'll never hear about them. They're private. They're referred. Uh, they're you know they got thirty years experience, twenty years experience, and then there are those who have three to five years market experience. We're trying to get you to drop ten and fifteen thousand dollars on a series of courses that they offer, and uh, I, I go, hey, uh, it's up to you. You know, how much do you want to pay for the knowledge? But uh, here, I just try to make it as simple as I can. Put them on sale once in the blue moon, and say, hey, if this works for you, great. If you can get five classes for six hundred bucks, it's one hundred twenty bucks a class. Grab the first five, grab the second five, grab 15. Throw me $599.99 three times over. Get 15 classes for the price of 12. Add number 16. You got them all. And you've made a commitment as a like a college class. But now you're into all of my classes for $1,950. You got them all. You're going to be watching probably 30 hours, 30, 32 hours of classes now. Uh, make the investment of time and money to make money. Uh, you're going to get back your two grand. Uh, come on. Uh, if you can't make $2,000 writing options after you've taken these classes, I, I'm kind of wondering, did you watch them? You can rewatch them all you want. Remember, when you go to college, for real, you have to go to the seminars. And if you missed one, you missed one. Uh, you may or may not be able to see it on a on a tape or on a on a rerun somewhere, but here you can watch the classes as many times as you want. And my regulars do rewatch their classes many times. Um, but you gotta you gotta spend money to make money, and around here you don't need to drop ten or twenty grand to figure out the basics of options. Uh, you watch my sixteen classes. And then you go out there to the YouTube universe and watch others give you free classes, uh, show you uh, trading techniques. You'll quickly figure out, oh, wait a minute, that that lesson, that that 10-minute video I just watched, that 20-minute video, that's, that's poor man covered call writing. That's all that is. Uh, this synthetic option writing, uh, this term, synthetic option... Poor man covered call writing is what that is. That's lesson number what eight. Uh, you guys know which lesson I'm talking about. Rollovers, uh, the 90-10 rule, stink bits, stink offers, the psychology of the markets, cash secured put writing, um, deep in the money call writing, out of the money call writing, um, what to do if exercised, um, how to do rollovers that work in your favor. I mean. Guys, the, all the basics are in the classes that I put out. There are many others out there who will give you sophisticated, fancy trades, but you'll quickly go, that's not fancy. That's not sophisticated. Bruce talked about that in lesson number 10. 
And these are the guys, again, I don't have anything against anyone out there trying to tell you how to write options. I, that, there are good people out there, really, really good people. But some of them, some are, uh, are I can't understand. I mean, I'm, I'll watch their, their video or two and I'll go, I don't know what they're trying to tell me. I don't understand what this means. And I know for a fact, my viewers will have no clue what these guys are talking about. Even if my viewers watched all 16 classes, there's no way they're going to understand what this guy's telling you to do because these trades make no sense or the strategy is so off the charts. And what amazes me is how many times you will be told, if you're watching other YouTubers, how many times you'll be told to wait until expiry. Wait until expiry and then do your mathematics. That That's, that's, not, no, that's not the real world. That's just not the real world. Um, they call it investing and they call it trading for a reason. And uh, you, you, you've you got to be on top of this market um, at all times. And if you're going to become a, a full-time asset manager where you're not working for a living, you are managing your assets for a living, you cannot play the game of, oh, I wrote, I wrote these contracts. I'm going to wait till they die worthless. I'm, for the last 10 days that they're trading, they're going to go from 15 cents to zero. I'm going to I'm going to make 15 cents for 10 days of my time. A third of a month, I'm going to make $10 a contract for a third of a month. No, 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 no. no. Wrong. Uh, where's that button? Uh, wrong. You do not wait 10 days to make your last 15 cents. These are tragic mistakes that are, are, are put out there by dozens of experts all the time. And, and I like these guys. I, I have nothing against other people. I don't. I'm not a hater. I'm a lover. But for you to live off of your investments, you need performance. You need you need shrinkage and you need to maximize it. And this is why I keep telling you, when I show you a Condor trade that you might want to look at, that might be a December 15 expiry, this being October the 6th, you're out of this trade by the end of this month. You're done. You've made your money. You've taken 80% off the table. Forget the last 15 cents. Move on. You're writing January Condors. <laughs> bringing in dollars and forgetting the pennies. You're bringing in more dollars because your bills are sent to you, however you get your bills, in real dollars, multiple dollars. You need money. You don't need friends. And you don't need the satisfaction of, oh, I, I waited until the end. I, I took the last three cents off the table. I, I can't stand it. It drives me nuts when people go, oh, I made $3 a contract more. By waiting four days. Why don't you take empties back for a living? That's what you want to do. You're 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 excited about 10 cents a bottle. I mean, do that for a living. You can make more money as a bottle picker than making three cents on the bloody contract. No, 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 no. You're divide your bills into 30 days, or better yet, divide all your bills and expenses into 20 days. Why do I say that? Because generally speaking, there are about 20 trading days every month. And you can only make money in 20 trading days. Just like going to work Monday to Friday, there's 20, 22 days a month that you work. Divide your bills into 20ths. And now you know how much money a day you need to pay your bills. That's what you've got to do. And if you figure it out, if you figure out, I need 4000 a month, that's 200 a day. Now, let me ask you, if a contract goes from 10 cents to nothing, that's a $10 move, you need $200 a day. Are you sitting on, um, how many of that, 20 of those? Uh, you need more than 20. You need 200 because in 10 days, you need $2,000, uh, $200 a day, 10 trading days. No, 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 no. You are not going to play this game. Not here. You can't afford to be a nice guy to let a contract expire out. No, you have to be ruthless. You gotta buy the damn thing back at 15, 20, 25 cents, 30 cents, and move on to the next issue and bring in dollars. 
And if you can bring in a buck and a half, two dollars in premiums in credit, two dollars in credit times twenty contracts, four thousand dollars just came in your hands. You want to take three of those four thousand dollars off the table as soon as possible, and as soon as you can, you grab it and you move on to the next four thousand dollar trade. And that should be less than a month. Should be less than a month. We hope. If it takes thirty contracts. Where you bring in two dollars a contract, you bring in six grand, and every 30 days you scored four of it. There you go, thousand a week. There's your bills. There are the bills paid for. You now know the number you need to get to. All right. Yes, if you're sitting on condors where you can only make another thirty dollars a contract times 20 contracts, uh, that's six hundred dollars, but it's gonna take you two weeks of trading to get that oh no oh no 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 no! that is not that's not going to pay your bills no no that that you are now a charity you are giving away money you can't operate a casino like that casinos need maximum returns you got to set up a new slot machine buddy and set it up for the next month and bring it in oh guys i love you guys thank you so much for being here uh this is so much fun um are you planning a new class? Yes, I am. I'm planning a new class. Uh, stay tuned. JR, 150 a person can make that back in, in 100 shares and one covered call, right? That is cheap already, says JR. Exactly. Um, Beach Boy. Hi, Ed T.J. How are you? Hi, Beach Boy. Hi, Beach Boy. Brad, at 150 a class, it's the best stock anyone new to the market can buy right now. Brian, Uncle Bruce, I think AI and GameStop have earnings on the same day. Uh, AI, November 28th, GameStop, I thought December 7th, so no, I didn't think so. Uh, do you think they'll drop before the earnings? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, Splair, uh, it, it's my opinion, just the first one or two classes with the biggest burden, just so you know, first place uh, isn't one of those digital scams, uh, Splair, but if you get started, you'll get addicted to this knowledge. <laughs> um, uh, Brian, my SoFi covered calls, uh, 10 bucks I sold are green already. Uh, sell options is the best. Green, red, gray. Who cares? Let's make money. The world is fine. Everything is dandy, says Brian. Lame duck. But when new people see you charging, it sends a red flag. Uh, let them find out if this is something they would like to do. Just saying, you know, they hang, you can hang out here for nothing. Listen to me rant and rave and <laughs> read all your comments. There's so much people can learn just being here. Just, just being here and doing nothing else. Being a lurker. Uh, but I'll tell you that after a week of being here, a Monday to Friday week, uh, if you haven't got the desire, the itch to now start taking classes, you're never going to be an option writer. I mean, you're not real. You, you, you're not going to do it. Uh, you've got to want it. It's not for It's exactly right. Jen is right. It's not for everybody. That's why there are 150 people here right now. That's it. 150. And time after time after time, what are we seeing written over here? I'll get my finger to work right. <laughs> what do we see being written over here time after time after time? Oh, I made money on this. I made money on those. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. I made money on that. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. I made money on that. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. You would think that with a channel having commentators here that I don't pay to be here. They're paying me to be here. These people are paying 25 a month, 10 bucks a month to be able to tell you Thanks, Uncle Bruce. I just made a bunch of money. I just made $2,000. I made $1,500. I made $800. I made $2,500. I'm up $1,600. You would think with all of that, there would be 1,500 people watching my meter right now, uh, the meter count. Uh, that would be down here somewhere on your thing. There aren't 1,500 people here. There aren't because writing options is a talent, is a skill, is a an advanced skill over anyone else in the stock market. But a learn. Yeah. Four, yes. one in ten, one in a hundred, one in a thousand, because every one of you know, and uh, you know I'm not lying to you, you've tried to explain option writing to a friend, a relative, a buddy, and it didn't work, did it? You can't do it. You, you cannot convince anybody out there. I mean, of the hundred different people you've talked to about what you do, that you write options, you can't get anyone to watch my channel. Because they think you're nuts. They think you don't know what you're talking about. It's too good to be true. If it's, it's so good, why doesn't everyone do it? You get this. Ad, yeah. they, they throw the pie at your face every single time. That's why there aren't 1,500 people here or 15,000. 
but so after a while you stop offering them pie you, you do the best you can <laughs> i beg people all the time to stick around i beg people all the time to take the classes i beg people all the time read these comments and find out for yourself if this is real or not i beg i beg because i've got to grow this channel all the time i turn losing investors into winning investors and after a certain amount of time some of them leave because they go I, I know everything i need to know i don't need to listen to him anymore i know how to write options thanks uncle bruce i'll see you around i don't need you anymore and so we've had a lot of people come and go yeah. some of you ask me all the time whatever happened to so-and-so whatever happened to so-and-so i remember this person used to be here she's not here he's not here where are they what what happened to them they're making money baby and they're going <laughs> i've learned enough i i'm quite happy where i'm at i'll catch bruce once in a while but yeah. not very every often. once in a while they'll have uh one-on-one -on -one. everyone uh, rarely but yeah but yeah doing that but, so on sunday uh oh during the frank first football game oh yesterday yeah did everybody see the sofi commercial yeah maybe in your region you didn't on, get it i no, don't know it was on the nfl international national Ooh, the sofi commercial yeah. it was it was good mm -hmm. it was good caught my attention i guess so so far it's going to be huge for you guys jr uh good morning auntie jen sounds like a bunch of us want to come to the stampede oh. they're talking about coming to the stampede. <laughs> we should have a we should have a meet and greet here during the stampede we should we should organize oh a meet gosh. and greet Can in calgary imagine? next stampede where we we uh we were gonna have a hoot nanny hey, get together I, somewhere I've pancakes to four thousand people before <laughs> that's right that's right we'd have to somehow we'd have to somehow become part of a stampede breakfast somehow oh any of the malls but no no i mean i mean we have to have like a, a, a an uncle bruce oh uh, stock with own. bruce stampede breakfast get wow. together for the meet and greet and we have to find a way to somehow pull well, off then, this thing that would have to be the stampede of 25 because you can't rent a grill in oh, this oh city yeah yeah no no you know what i think we're gonna have to do <laughs> i think what we would have to do is we'd have to go to one of our favorite places for breakfast and we'd oh, have to we know which one oh, i know which one do. and uh, and, and we, we will go just pretend those we're, we're street flapjacks. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna corner a piece of that restaurant. I got you. And yeah. we're going to that would be a good we're one. gonna have our own stampede breakfast, yes. which is which is covered by me. And yes. everyone who shows up, uh pancakes, morning glories to drink. Uh yes. uh we'll have morning we'll glories. Have a, uh, we only have one drink. It's a pitcher. It's it's a pitcher, but it's a morning glory <laughs> one drink. Uh, and we've got the bacon, and we got the eggs, and we've got the hash browns, and we've got the uh, toast, boots. and we got the boots and the cowboy <laughs> wear, and uh, we're putting on the. Now, okay. Yeah, we yeah. got to do this if uh -oh. for no other reason than to see this guy in cowboy boots. I have worn cowboy boots since nineteen. 78 79 <laughs> uh oh my god um marie yeah. b uh, i do have 100 shares of nclh <coughs> nclh uh let's find out what that is um help me out here nclh that is norwegian cruise line oh yeah norwegian oh. okay uh yes you can write calls on uh, on I'm norwegian thinking. Yeah. NCL. Uh, it sounds so why, why is that? NCLH. What, what do I? My brain my brain is so focused on so many things that I, I someone tells me a symbol. I go, what is oh, that? What is that? What is that? And when and, you're sitting here yeah. in the morning, you don't have you traveling with Bruce hat on. No, I don't, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking. Uh, what can you write on NCLH? Can you write a call for at? anything? Huh? What are they sitting at? 1330 a share. Mm. And uh, a fourteen dollar call would be uh, eighty nine to ninety one. A fifteen dollar call. This is again expiring June uh, Jan nineteen twenty twenty four. So that's it's two three months, uh, two months. A uh, fifty five fifty seven for fifteen. So uh, you know you can do that. Yeah, I mean you know if you write a uh, you write a fourteen dollar call, you bring in uh, ninety bucks against your shares and get the experience of writing a call on these shares. <laughs> um uh, and uh you never know and she says i also have a whole four matterport chairs there you go there you go well if you you write the call for for 90 bucks 
Now you can buy $90 of Matterport <laughs> with that money, you see. Uh, so you can now add to your Matterport, which is sitting add at, to your portfolio. what's it sitting at? 216. So you can buy another 40 shares of Matterport. You'll have 44 Matterport. <clears throat> or you turn around and buy more Norwegian with that to try to get to another 100 shares and write another contract against but that won't be enough to buy 100 more but, with the new trading uh, platforms do you get killed on lots like we used to to do what see again with the trading programs platforms they have now yeah do you get killed buying an odd lot yeah no. no it's all computer trading it's commission free Doesn't matter. Yeah. it's yeah. within a quarter of a penny remember how we used to, oh boy you paid a price for oh not yeah plus commissions a yeah. minimum 50 dollars commissions farmless i saw one guy suggesting poor mind cover calls he was just pulling out random numbers with no mention of rollovers or the 90 10 <laughs> roll. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And these guys are experts yeah. to help guide you on your trading path. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Lame duck. Uncle Bruce, I love your classes. It's worth the money. But oh, new people you, don't know yeah. that yet. I know that. That's why I'm here. <laughs> That's what I'm working. I, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a job. Um, White Feather Marie B. Yes. Norwegian does have options. Brian, lame duck. Get them to speak with Alberto or the Credit Savage Laugh Out Loud. Ask them about the classes. Lame Duck, all about That's foot it. traffic in any business. You are correct. Fool of a Took. I am number 140 on your thumbs up meter. Oh, Thank you, Fool. Dude, I just made money while you were talking about a theoretical person <laughs> making money. Now, that's the power of the mind. Uncle Bruce is the way. Good morning, Auntie Jen from Dude. Good morning, Dude. JR, Lame Duck. Have you figured out yet that Uncle Bruce is not going to change his class? A structure as if you figured it out <laughs> lame duck you don't need to have, uh you don't need to sell us it's the new people you need to convince i'm with you lame duck know. and i'll convince them to become members of this channel and buying classes because we are showing them the results uh it's not like oh buy the classes and someday i'll show you how much money you can make no no no, no. I would just hang around here with these guys Listen to, watch what these people say. Lame Duck, his 100 members could turn into 150 to 200. Mandu, Uncle Bruce, my four um, my four iron condors from AI from your Friday trade alert, yeah. we're up 7% in just one day of trading. Yes. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. Uh, definitely helps to pay for the membership. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Uh, four condors. On that uh, trade, um, yeah, there's uh, bank, you know. there's some dough that came into your account to uh, helps pay for the uh, you darn, darn right. Well, uh, I, everybody have a nice Monday. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed that next other hour. Hang on that. a second. I got one. I got a couple comments for life here coming in here. These stampede comments coming oh. in strange on my desktop. So if I had a spike, says Splare, it's moving between six, seven sixty seven seventy seven, but on my phone it's seven fifty six. White oh. feather. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Bama Babe in the chat in a long time. We're yeah, talking about who's not here happen. anymore. Bobby, I'm sorry, I tried to find the California TV station last night to watch that football game for SoFi ads. Not a football or sport watching fan. Instantly fell asleep before the first commercial. Uh, JR, please, please, please don't take us to Denny's. <laughs> We wouldn't take. We you would to never Denny's. take you to Denny's, Aurora. It would be, uh, it would be great to have one of your meet and greets here in Calgary. Oh, that would be something. Bobby Nick's restaurant, no sauce on steaks. Now we're not thinking about that one for the Stampede breakfast. No, we Nick's have another does one. Do a really nice brunch. Yeah, but that's not that's not it. That's no, no, not, no. We no, we uh, we got going. another restaurant that we got. We uh, we have a favorite that we used oh, for and decades uh just yes. to remind him i watched football all day yesterday oh yeah i only saw the sofi ad on the, on the, first the game day. from from frankfurt, frankfurt that's yeah. the only one she saw the yeah. sofi ad yeah. um brian i love writing four to six months out get huge premiums and then buy them back after like one or two months i make 30 to 50 percent mm -hmm. just wonderful do it again same expired with lower strike lovely yeah, yeah. splare for aurora probably very comfortable well, for Amaros, i think i'm too angry of a person to go to canada the french <laughs> portion might get me scared don't worry about that out here uh, it's it's english only out here really it's calgary there's yeah. french people here and they're great don't worry about that. You just get your butt over here. Um, Bobby, <laughs> the French Canadian, usually say they stay in the east, says Bobby. That's Brian, right. Stampede okay. Tip, Stampede <laughs> Tip says, Brian, if you buy a Grand Strand ticket, you get oh. free admission to the park. Absolutely. Saves you like 25, 30 bucks. Absolutely. The Grand Stand shows are almost always worth it. There yes. you go. H. And you Gregory. Get the checks. And you get the chuck wagons. H. Gregory, 144, I think. 144 thumbs up, Bruce. Nice. You're going for 150. 
thank you all so much. Yes, Jen and I, uh, we would have to put together a special event uh, uh, for you guys, a special day, a special event. It would no, not be... No uh, we did it out. Oh, no, no. Uh, and it would be a pretty good time. Uh, but it would be, uh, for some of you, you'd have to come on up here to Cowtown. International and, uh, Airport. And what you want to do is you'd want to be here a couple of days before the event and it'd be doing the stampede thing. Yeah. Then join us for our uh, our stampede breakfast hoedown get together. And then uh, off you go. And the first thing <laughs> you'll see when you get out of that, in out of here. The security and you're now into the actual airport are the uh, the Calgary the welcome committee. ambassadors or welcome the ambassadors wearing the red jackets and the white stetsons. and the first thing that happens to you as soon as you come out of customs and you come into yeah. the main foyer the ambassadors are there with the brands the branding irons yeah you can get branded and they're ready to put the brand yeah. on your arm yes. you're going to get the this Calgary Stampede brand put right on your arm right there on the spot completely painless by the way and it washes <laughs> off it's all right. <laughs> and it <washes> <laughs> Luca, Hi. ciao, Uncle Bruce. How you doing? I, I, I know. Ciao, Auntie Jen. How are you doing, my dear? From Luca. How are you doing? Welcome, Luca. welcome, Luca. Travels are safe. Yeah, Luca's getting better and better at this. Uh, welcome all to the party, to the show. Thanks for having us here, Jen. Thank you for saying hi to all of us. No problem. Another We're day in paradise. Uh, yes, time. indeed. Yeah. Uh, Enjoy that extra hour in Monday. That's Ooh. right. Well, here. Apparently, this morning we were sleeping. Or last night we had amazing aurora borealis. Yeah. How about that? Crazy, crazy good. Day. How about that? Spicy Android, I'd be there. It's only a little dry for me. There you go, babies. Well, you never know if we can pull something like that off. JJ, uh, cover calls or iron condors, uh, Brian. How are you doing on that stuff? How's it going for you? Right on, everybody. Thank you for being here. We now have 150 thumbs ups. I was hoping and praying we'd hit 150. We have done it. Thank you all so much for nailing it. Keep those things coming in. Thank you all. Also, uh, let me double check here. Um, yes, uh, thank you, sir. We've got a donation that came in for five classes. I will take care of you, uh, uh, LC. We'll take care of you, LC. Right on, man. Uh, we'll get you. We'll get you set up after I'm uh, after I'm off the air. Uh, for your five. You let me know the five you want, please. Uh, tell me the five you'd like to have, because I don't think you've done that, did you? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I know which ones you want. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, got it. Elsie, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get you set up for sure. All right. Fantastic. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, congratulations. Uh, welcome to the party, pal. Uh, keep it going, everybody. All right. Um, welcome all, and thank you all for being here. 152 thumbs ups now, 48 away from 200. There, I think 200 is possible if the rerunners come through for us. I don't know. You never know with the rerun crowd. It could, it could happen. The Dow's up 21. It's just, it's just kind of hanging on. Um, <clears throat> we're up three on S&P. We're up 25 on NASDAQ. That is not enough to convince me we're going to have an update today. I really don't think so uh oil uh, up a dollar 37 81 88 but we are green i will give you that but yeah i don't know uh, it was so far hitting new lows in this 760 range let's refresh our thing 753 was a lower 761 right now on SoFi. it is a bargoon uh, i know a guy that i talked to this weekend who is working on a big rollover and this should be helping him I hope it is working out in your favor. Uh, absolutely, uh, positively stay on top of those quotes and the movement of the stock. Be ever so vigilant on this. Be ruthless on what you want to pay and what you're going to get uh, to minimize the spread. Uh, thank you all for joining in today. Uh, we're watching a lot of activity out there. We'll see where it goes. 76.98 on the end phase, down 383. We got the GameStop down a nickel, only down five cents. That's all. Apple up 150, won't give it up. Uh, we're down a buck on Netflix, down 130 on Adobe. And AI down to 26.82. Dare I say there are buying opportunities on AI deep in the money call options. There might be some buy opportunities there to do some more writing. Um, interesting stuff. I have a suspicion that Credit Savage is loving this. 
uh, big time he's loving this. Um, let's see. Matterport down just three cents, sitting at 217, waiting till the end of the day after the close. Results will come out. 23andMe is up a couple of pennies. Uh, Spire down seven. ATIP down 11. Smart Rent down five cents at the moment. Apple up 170, as we said. Goldman down four. Cisco down a penny. Tesla up 84. Arc down 63. Microsoft up 370. Pfizer down 15, HPQ down 4, Alphabet, Google up 40, Amazon up 172, NVIDIA up 498. We got winners and losers today, no doubt about it. We definitely have winners and losers right now on this market. Citadel Chief Ken Griffin, our, our favorite, says SEC should focus on banks instead of hedge funds in tackling a uh, basis trade risk. You know, uh, Ken, you should be uh, uh, saying to the world that the SEC should make every entity, short any institutional investment firm like yours and banks and hedge funds and mutual funds and ETFs and private hedge funds should all disclose short sales. That should be knowledge available to all, just like long positions, Short positions should be declared, and you shouldn't have anything to say negative about it. I don't hear you talking about it because it sounds to me like you like it when your short positions are kept away from the average investor, so they have no idea what you're up to. Um, yeah, well, there you go. What can I say? J-Boy, I am number 150. Um, uh, lame duck. I watched the Holy Grail last weekend. Neat, 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 neat. J-Boy, uh, slacker over here, a uh, white feather. Have a great day, everybody. Mandu number five. Nee, 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 nee. JR, I rolled up my iron condor cover call last week, and today they are green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. We don't mind when stocks go down. We don't mind. Uh, we make money going up. We make money going down. You watch this market. If the Dow loses 200 points this afternoon or later this week drops three, 400 points, you watch how much money is being scored on this channel from the option writers, uh, we don't mind. Uh, it it doesn't matter to us. <clears throat> That's the difference between this channel and all the other stock channels out there that talk about day trading, talk about the mother of all short squeeze, talk about the the the, the, the you know the the rumor mill about uh, going to the moon. They talk about all this other stuff. The pie and the sky channels that are out there are available for you anytime you want, and they too will sell you courses on how to believe in pie in the sky theories in the meantime around here we don't care um a lot of money was made on this channel by people trading amc uh contracts they were writing contracts on amc for the last two years and they made a fortune uh people who wrote gamestop contracts made a fortune around here it was very nice and uh the dips do not matter at all <clears throat> Fantastic. Uh, Auntie Jen from uh, from Beach Boy, how are you? Just letting you guys know that I wrote 75 um, um, ENPH, uh, Enphase. Uh, no, I wrote Enphase 75s and 70s cash secures puts as well as SoFi $8 cash secured puts. I wrote 100 AI 25s, December 15 cash secured puts at 208. Catching to the credit. Uh, there you go, baby. Catching to the credit. Giddy up, man. Giddy up. Uh, well done, everyone, on this channel. It doesn't matter what direction the market goes. Money is being made. Fantastic all. Thank you, those of you who have been here all show today. As always, we love you. Thank you for the thumbs ups. If you're watching on the rerun, please hit the thumbs up button. Give this channel a little more momentum. We're having a good one today. 154 are in now, and we've got more coming as the day rolls on. The credit of Wall Street, says uh, Beach Boy. Credit of Wall Street. Fantastic. Uh, thank you all for your kind words and, and uh, letting me know on your emails how you're doing. Uh, thank you for letting me know how you're doing on your iron condor trades. Uh, keep up the good work, everybody. Thanks for, for those of you who are members telling other people to become members. Uh, thank you for that. Those of you upgrading to Gold Bagel, you're the best. <clears throat> you're absolutely the best. I love you guys. Uh, keeping us on the air. We appreciate it. Luca, neat, 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 neat. A nice one, Uncle Bruce. Thank you. Uh, you got it, buddy. 
Keep it going, everyone, um, and uh, make the moolah, just like Alberto and Beach Boy says, take the money. They're handing it to you. Uh, why not take it off their hands? Uh, they, they, see, they don't seem to want it. They want to seem to want to get rid of their money. Why don't you be the one taking it from them? Uh, yeah, put the credit in your account. Say, thank you, sir. May I have another? Um, Flint Creek. Okay, so far I made my moves. You may go up now. Uh, Brian, the JJ on covered calls. Um, and Edith, the, the big E. Uh, neat, 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 neat. Flint Creek. Neat, neat, neat. The, the knee emojis are coming in again. We always honor the Knights of Knee. 156 thumbs ups and counting. Thank you, everybody. Keep the drive alive, everyone. Make your dough. Take your money. Get your iron condor set up. Uh, let the first hour of volatility go through and then move in and set up your iron condors and be greedy with big fat credits. Nico, thank you. Larry, thank you. Neat, 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 neat. Here they come. The knee emojis are coming in from everybody. JR, neat, 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 neat. JR from California. Knees are coming in all over the place. One after the other. There's no letting up on the knee emoji attack. And away we go. The more folks of you, the more of you that do these knee emojis, the more interaction YouTube is measuring. And that also increases the channel's exposure. Thank you all so much. Uh, thank you, Uncle Bruce. Neat, 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 neat from Beach Boy. Uh, thanks, Beach Boy. <laughs> Aurora, thank you. Neat, 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 neat. They're coming in, kids. Here we go. The hearts are coming out. The happy faces are coming out. The uh, the uh, the uh, pa party poppers are coming through. Fantastic manager. Neat, 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 neat. Marcus, neat, 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 Brian, neat, 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 Fish Creek, neat, 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 neat. They're coming in from all over the dang place. The channel's lighting up. Dean, uh, Dean's got them going there. We're just lighting up like crazy. And the YouTube's going, what the hell's going on over there? What's with this channel? All this activity on this channel. And they only have a hundred and something people watching this guy. Why, why, why? Flint Creek, neat, 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 neat. And why the knee emojis? What is going on with the... Um, Knee emojis over there. John Gill is on it. Neat, 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 neat. <laughs> Too much fun at the end of the show. Thank you guys so much. Karen, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the knee emojis. Everybody is here. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Make nothing but money. Grab your classes and uh, let me know if any of you need a one-on-one -on -one consultation. We'll set you up for the weekend if you like or whenever we can get it figured out. And go SoFi Go, uh, absolutely. Let's get on with that. Uh, let's get our viewers richer on every part of this market. Why not? W. Walters, neat, 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 neat. John Anderson, thanks, everybody. Thanks, John. Splare, neat, 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 neat. There they are. They're coming through after one, after the other, after the other, after the other. Beautiful stuff, guys. Uh, keep up the good work. We'll see you tomorrow, first thing in the morning. For those of you watching Traveling with Bruce, I'll see you there tonight. Uh, we'll be on the air there as well. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a relaxed and beautiful start to the week. Uh, Flint Creek, dollars, baby. Get the dollars. I R Aaron. Neat, 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 neat. Yes, indeed, baby. Aurora, have a great day, Uncle Bruce, Auntie Jen, and all. Thank you, guys. We'll see you first thing in the morning. Let's get richer. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.